Hey guys, welcome back. For this video tutorial, I'm gonna work on new sensor that is HIH6130. To know more about this sensor and to clarify the doubts and the working functions for this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and have a search for this sensor and let's see what we got. So we have HIH6130 humidity and temperature sensor and these are some of its features. You can purchase this sensor from here and the amount is available and you can go ahead. Well, I will be showing the interfacing of the sensor HIH6130 using an Arduino Nano and for that I require an Arduino port. So go to resource tab and here is our Arduino code sample. You can download the Arduino code sample from this link as a zip file. You can also download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's over look over the hardware, the products, the accessories we require and let's make some connections for that. Now this is here is our sensor HIH6130 which we are going to be setting up. In addition to this we need an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now to make a connection among the sensor and the Arduino Nano, the binding factor is this an I2C sheet which is available on our website controleverything.com. Now gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C sheet like this and make this connection. Now the question arises why we use this shield and the answer lies that we use it to make connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So let's proceed now. Now to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C shield we need this connecting cable and which you are able to see on my screen. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same has to be done with the I2C shield. Now we need to power up our Arduino Nano and for that a mini USB cable is required. This is a mini USB cable and gently insert it over the power jack of the I2C of the Arduino Nano. Now we are done with our connections part. Now what we require is to look up our code and interface with our sensor. So why not we have a look over it. So now we have seen the setup for the hardware connections we require and now the next thing we gonna do is to interface the sensor with an Arduino code. So for that we have to visit the website and log in here and it's github.com and here search for control everything community which is the official repository for CE, CE control everything.com. Now here search for the sensor which we are going to work and here it is. Now this is the required Arduino code. Let's have a look over the instructions for that first. We have to download and install the Arduino software IDE on our local machine and this is the link. This is the link where the installation will happen and let's have a look over this. And here we are. This is a Arduino software download link and you can download it as a Windows, Mac, Linux operating system. So there are a lot of variations for this and there are a lot of dependency instructions are there which you can follow from this very link. For that uh, get back to the code for the interfacing and here are we. It's a .inu extension file as you can see. Now the first thing you notice that we have included wire.h library for all the functionality we will use. Now we have defined the address of our sensor that is 0x27. It's a hexadecimal uh, denomination. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and y.begin is for that. Initialized the serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Now there is a delay for 300 ms. In the void function we have selected the data register that is 0x00 and requested along with that 4 bytes of data that includes humidity and temperature data. We are getting a new reading here. It pulls a new data which we can process it and see other values. So in the conversion part here, the data is being converted using the formulas, the techniques which are described clearly in the data sheet for HIH6130. Now we have to output data on the monitor and we have the format set up for that. Relative humidity in percentage RH along with temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit skits as you can notice. Now this is how the code looks like. Now for this code to work 
let's go ahead now for the working part first of all copy this entire Arduino code and now open up the Arduino terminal here then paste the entire code and save the code and this is the naming part for the reference and now verify and compile this code it's done and now upload the Arduino code it's being uploaded sometimes it may take a while so let's wait up it's done uploading and now we have to check for the serial monitor output and here we go as you can see relative humidity and temperature on the screen now when I exhale there might be some changes as you can notice there's an increase in relative humidity and temperature now when I do that again there is again a change in relative humidity and temperature so this is how an Arduino code works for HIH6130 with an Arduino Nano now what we require is to see the features benefits and the applications for this particular sensor so why not we have that look so let's proceed well we have just seen the working of humidity and temperature sensor HIH6130 this sensor comes from a family of HIH6100 series the sensor is a digital output type relative humidity and temperature sensor combined in the same package this sensor provides an accuracy level of plus minus 4.0 percentage RH and a temperature accuracy level of plus minus 0.5 degree Celsius it has a leading industry leading long term stability total error band reliability energy efficiency lowest total cost solution and a lot more features due to this it is used in a wide range of applications like HVACR respiratory therapy incubators air compressors weather stations and a lot more so you can purchase this sensor from the website controleverything.com and you can get the code from this very site you go to resource tab and you can download it from there you can also get the code from our github repository that is control everything community now I would like to make it clear that in case if there is any doubt or any query you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure be sure to post your queries your comments on our community page which is shown here now if you want some articles some blogs relevant to this you can go to instructables.com and check us on there now if you want to subscribe more video tutorials which are coming and which are being uploaded there you can subscribe our youtube channel at the very end i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself thanks for watching